What if Barry Ares had a pre-evolution in the first season of Beyblade? What a pre-evolution? Yup, instead of the usual giving Beyblades who didn't have an evolution an evolution, we're giving Beyblades who didn't have a pre-evolution a pre-evolution. Barry Ares is a dual spinning, which means both spin left and right defense type Beyblade that is owned by King in the third season of the Beyblade anime. Very Ares for some reason is classified as a defense type Beyblade even though it's probably more fit as the balance type Beyblade considering all of its mode changes and gimmicks and it having one of the best fusion wheels for attack. And its main gimmick on the tip allows it to change from 3 different types of tips, sharp, ball, and flat. So to start off, one problem about giving Very Ares a pre-evolution is that it doesn't have an energy ring of its own. So changing the fusion wheel might be kind of complicated, but hear me out, for a pre-evolution, I'll be changing the very Ares fusion wheel for the pre-hybrid Ares fusion wheel. Comparing both fusion wheels, they look extremely similar and because of the pre-hybrid fusion wheel, it doesn't require an energy ring just like the very Ares one. I think this is the perfect fit considering the fusion wheel name is also Ares, even though it's not spelled the same. And I know it's probably pronounced differently like Ares and Ares, so yeah. Now for the Delta Drive 4D tip, this will be another hard tip to replace considering it's quite unique that can change from 3 different tips. But after some thinking, I ended up deciding to go with the combination of the wide defense 145 spin track and the whole flat slash sharp tip. The reason why I chose this combo is because the tip whole flat sharp can replicate both the stamina and flat tip that the Delta Drive tip had. But look at this, if you look at the shape of the wide defense 145 spin track, it has that arc shape that the ball tip had on Delta Drive, and it's also a defense type spin track. So we basically replicated the Delta Drive 4D tip with our spin track and tip together. But now that we have all the parts, let's see our final product. Here we have Ares wide defense 145 hole flat sharp, a right spinning defense type Beyblade that theoretically could be owned by King in the anime. It also looks relatively similar to the old Very Ares and has the same functions. Well, besides the yellow little cushions Very Ares had. So now let's test this Beyblade against 4 stages of Beyblades. The first one being Ray Striker, a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Masamune in the anime. Masamune and King were both rivals in the show so I think it's appropriate to try to have them battle once again in the pre-evolution stage. Plus we'll be able to see the defense portion that this Beyblade provides. The second stage will be against Cyclone Herculeo, a right spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Ian Garcia in the anime. I chose this Beyblade just because to see how it would face off against a pure attack type. The third stage will be against Vulcan Herusius, a right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Niall in the anime. This test will mainly be here to see how the attack portion on Ares is compared to the defense type Beyblade. And for the last stage, we'll be going against the original Very Ares. Now, there might be a small power creep compared to these two because Very Ares is a 4D Beyblade, but I think it'll be fun to see who ends up on top. Alright, let's get the battle started. We have Ares versus Ray Striker. We'll be putting Ares in attack mode for this battle and we're going to be doing a best of 5, so first to 3 points will win. Ares will drop first, giving the first point to Ray Striker, making the score 0 1. A huge collision, but Ares comes out on top, tying up the score 1 1. Ooh, nice chase! Ray Striker will take the win, making the score 1 2, and we changed Ares' mode from attack to stamina or defense. Ares will win the stamina battle this time around, tying up the score 2-2. Two -two.
Aries will take the last point with the sleep out making the score 3-2. So far, I'm really liking this combo. It seems like when it's in stamina slash defense mode that it's able to brush off attacks quite nicely and still have the attack power when it's in attack mode. Pretty much just like the traits that Barry Ares have. And now for our second match against Cyclone Hercules, a pure attack type. And when I mean pure attack type, it's because Hercules will always be attacking with its flat tip unlike Ray Striker's tip, Coach Sharp, where it can sometimes go into stamina mode. So we're going to be doing another best of five, so first to three points will win. Ooh, that hit from Hercules backfired, making the score 1-0 for Ares. Ooh, those hits from Hercules were completely depleting Ares' stamina. The score is now tied 1-1. Jeez, those clashes and Ares is still coming out on top. The score is now 1-2 and we're changing Ares' mode into stamina slash defense. A hard hit from Hercules, but Ares still stays in the stadium making the score tied 2-2. That was a good combo by Hercules. Let's just watch a replay. Watch, it hits here. It hits it again. Oh my god, this combo wasn't allowing Ares to regain its balance at all. And then watch the final hit after the setup. Oh, a knockout. A great gameplay here by Hercules. Literally, that whole battle, Ares could not gain its balance once because Hercules was just knocking it around. A really good display of attack by Hercules, but overall, a good try by Ares. Now, let's move on to the next match against Falcon Herusius. We'll be doing another best of five, so first to three points will win. Good knockout there by Vulcan Herusius. The score is now 0 1. And the result ends in a double knockout. We're now changing Ares' mode to attack them. Ares manages to find a knockout, tying up the score 1-1. Ooh, after multiple collisions, Ares does come out on top, taking the score 2-1. And that will sum up the series, Ares does get a knockout onto Vulcan Herusius, making the score 3-1. Definitely seemed like attack mode was the way to go here, as it didn't win at all when it was on its stamina slash defense mode. It's pretty nice being able to adapt to your scenario, just like in this battle. Overall, a pretty good display here by Ares for its attack mode, but now, let's move on to the final battle against Barry Ares. Probably going to be its toughest matchup yet, since it is a 4D Beyblade, so we're going to be doing another best of 5, so first at 3 points, we'll win. And it looks like Barry Ares will start the match with the knockout making the score 0 1. If it's very Ares is the one that sleeps up. The score is now tied one way. Oh God, that was an explosive hit there. Like, okay, let's see this in slow motion. It's pretty calm, and then boom, out of nowhere, a huge hit and sends Ares flying. The score is now one two.
after looking very closely, it does look like Ares takes the win there, tying up the score 2 2. Oh, jeez, another explosive battle. All right, let's slow mo this once again. Ares goes around. It doesn't. Ares completely flying there, but Ares does manage to catch its balance. And one last collision. Let's see who gets out first. And there you go. Very Aries did manage to stay in slightly more than Aries, and Very Aries will take the win with a 2 3 scoreline. Oh, wow. Aries put up a really good fight against Very Aries. Very surprising because I feel like Very Aries should win majority of the time there. Expectations were low, and damn, did it exceed it greatly. Yeah, that is the end of the video. What do you guys think of this pre evolution? But overall, what do you guys think about the series in general? And I want you guys to let me know what other Beyblades deserve a pre-evolution. And like always, thank you guys for watching the video.